Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection May 11, 2022 Wednesday The fourth week of Easter We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First Reading a reading from the book of Acts. Acts chapter 12 verse 24 to chapter 13 verse 5a. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Samin who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manin who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 67 verse 2 to 3, 5, 6 and 8 Let our response be, O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth. Among all nations, your salvation. Response. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. Response. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us. And may all the ends of the earth fear him. Response. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia. John chapter 8 verse 12. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 12 verse 44 to 50. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video.
the reflection on today's gospel. This is where I paused at the above verse and began my gospel reflection. The Lord says, whoever believes in me will never die, will live forever, will be my disciple, will follow me, will suffer unjustly, will be my friends, will do greater things, will obey my commandment of love, will be light to the world, will rise from the dead. In all his sermons, the Lord always gives and takes. This is my body. Take and eat. He always proposes. Choose life or death. What we are to do is as clear and divided as black and white. We are to love or forever remain in darkness. Many are invited and we are to invite. But not many will follow the commandments of the Lord. To love God above all things and to love your neighbor as yourself. And so too many remain in darkness. Covered in sin, covered in ignorance. In deceit and misdeeds. The Lord invites. He merely begs his children to come into his life-saving light. To live during the day and to sleep at night. To read and listen to his words and to stop creating their own. His words, are they not enough? His deeds, are they not enough? I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord did it all. Enough said and enough given. Whoever believes in me will live like me. Am I living like Christ or like one of his adversaries? Do I hold my tongue or do I spit out filth? Do I avoid confrontation or do I instigate it? Do I wail and grind my teeth or do I kneel in prayer? Do I save the soul or do I spread awful things about them? Do I follow the Lord in healing or do I seek to hound? Whoever believes in me will be like me. Those who closely follow the Lord will experience what the Lord experience. Love, friendship, loneliness, misunderstanding, contempt, hatred, resentment, scorn, gossip, betrayal and death. Those who do not follow the Lord may receive roughly the same. But for those who remain in darkness, who condemn and judge, the word I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. While I was meditating on today's Gospel passage, I recalled the story in the life of St. Philip Neri. A penitent sought forgiveness for spreading vicious rumors about an innocent man. St. Philip gave the man this penance. Take a large bag of feathers and throw them into the air from the tallest building in Rome. Afterwards pick them all up. The man replied. I will never be able to find all the feathers. St. Philip had made his point. When we see Jesus, we see the Father. When people see you, who do they see? God our Father, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, happiness of the just. Hear our prayer. Fill our emptiness with the blessing of your Son's body and blood, the foretaste of eternal joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.